Hey everybody, it's Star Danielle coming at you with another mukbang. Today I am doing turkey tacos. I got ground turkey tacos with all the fixings on. I got some shredded iceberg lettuce, some mild, no, medium cheddar, pico, of course. You know, this girl loves some pico. Oh my gosh. Um, I got the bold nacho taco shells. I think, um, is it El Paso? Girl making up stuff. Anyway, I got two bold taco like cheddar shells and one regular shell. Got a little blue um tortilla chips and regular tortilla chips. That was a mistake. I didn't know I already had it before I bought the other one. So I said, let's just eat all of them. And I got some um queso also. We'll talk about a little bit more of everything as I'm eating. Got the sour cream. I'm gonna put on. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. Hold on. I like the squirt sour cream, but you have to make sure you don't get that dirty. I always find myself, I'm gonna do one at a time. I always find myself like getting that dirty. Got the hot sauce, of course. Which way is my camera? I go that way. Oh, wrong way. This is the El Yucateco. Girl, stop, don't do that. I'm bashing your own words. But yeah, I love this hot sauce. This is the hot sauce I eat on like Mexican food and it complements it so well. Ooh. And I'm drinking Pana water today or Pana. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. But yep, yeah. so that's what's going on today. I just feel like some tacos. Like I said, it's ground turkey. I feel like eating no beef. It's fine. Let me taste this queso because I did some extra stuff to it. As you can see, it looked like <laughs> queso soup. It's very runny. <laughs> I should have thickened it, but. That's what though. Um, I got like some queso from like the refrigerator refrigerated section. It's white queso, and the reason it's kind of runny because I added stuff that had juice in it, but it's fine. Next time I'll make it. I'll thicken it. But I got some pickle jalapenos, fresh jalapenos, some pico, a little garlic. I sauteed all that before I put the actual cheese in. And it's great. It got it has depth of flavor, has some spice. Like queso to me is very bland. Like just the white cheese queso, I'd be like, eh, huh? it needs flavor. Mm. That's really good. It's queso soup though, but it's fine. If I was serving this, I would have thickened up, but it's for me. See, this is a stand-up taco shell. These two on the end. So yeah, when I take this down, yeah, that's a wrap. Mm -hmm. Mmm. This is messy. That makes it messy. Look at that. Mmm. My hot sauce is spicy, but it's so good. Mmm. Y'all gonna make y'all some tacos, for real. That thing good. Mmm, mmm. Mm. I have an actual taco salad now. And everything's on the board. Real talk. 
But anyway, how are y'all today? I am doing wonderful. What I watch? I watch The Devil Made Me Do It, like The Conjuring. For all my horror fans out there. I'm a fan of The Conjuring. I'm a fan of Annabelle. I like all that. Oh, good. Mmm. Like I watched Loki earlier this week, too. I fell asleep on it, but I gotta rewatch it. I watched it late. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Try to be grown. But, um. I'm not going killing it. Okay, so go good. Even though it's not as thick <laughs> as it usually is, but well, you can see like the pico on the jalapeno. This is really good, really messy. I have a lot of fork over here. And I recommend you all like make your own taco seasoning instead of doing the packet. I had actually bought the taco pack seasoning when I was reading them. Of course, all those in ingredients I can't pronounce. This was like made with bio. What is it? Biomedical engineered ingredients? I don't know. Basically, it's what you know. It's a GMO. No, bio engineered ingredients. That just turned me off. This actually read that and I'm like, mm. I was like, I'll just make my own. It's fine. So let's get some cumin or cumin. Mm hmm. What is up there? I don't know how I'm gonna pick this up. Hold on. Get some cumin, some chili powder, garlic powder, oh, excuse me. garlic powder, onion powder, and um, paprika. I don't know the measurements. It's not equal though, because you know you put more chili powder than any chili powder than anything. Mm, so good, so good. Yeah. So I just made my stuff from scratch. And it tastes so much better. I just feel like you can control the sodium. Those packs taste artificial to me. But it's like something about it. It tastes really artificial. 
And I'm not saying I never used them before because I have, but I have noticed like that taste. So. Mm, it's getting thicker as it gets cooler. Mm. But not as thick. Well, this is like the regular tortilla shell or what's it called? Taco shell. And this is like the nacho bowl. And the nacho bowl, they stand up by themselves. Mm. Are your corn? Not corn. Are you a hard shell or soft shell taco person? Or are you a corn tortilla or a flour tortilla? I love those shells they have at Chipotle. Like the um the hard their hard taco shells, the corn. My boyfriend likes soft shell. Like I can eat the soft shell taco. But my first preference is hard shell. He doesn't have a first or second preference. Well, soft is the first and only. You have that crunch, that texture. There's a mess down here. Mm. It's getting pretty. Dip it in the case though. Oh, it's good. So messy, so good. Mm -mm -mm. You got golden girls on in the background. Always. If I ever have kids, they will know about the Golden Girls. They gonna love them or hate them, or be impartial, but they will know. Whew. that's great. I think I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm full. My lipstick to stay on this time. I have a um, subscriber that says how my lipstick stays on. What's up, Maurice? <laughs> I'm going to talk about him later. He's a, a fellow YouTuber. Really, really good people. Really cool dude. He does like comedy skits. And I've been bugging him and bugging him to start back uploading and I need to check his channel see if he uploaded his video. But I'm excited that he's like back, you know, filming um, content to put up on his channel. But anyway, my lipstick ain't on now. My resist one ain't a, ain't a um, stay put type situation. But anyway, 
thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch my videos and hit the subscribe button if you like me. You know, watch a few videos. I know how it is when you think about subscribing to somebody. Watch them to see if we can be down. But anyway, you know, um, leave me a comment, please. Um, I really like your feedback. I like the interaction. And hit the like button. And I will see y'all in the next one. Whew. It was so good. Y'all go make y'all some tacos. All right, bye.